The following is a demonstration of the fruit inventory system on bobbywires.com. This is the inventory display. It is a user controlled drill down inventory. User controlled, the users can control how it is sorted and you can limit the display by selecting the species, the species that you want to view. Drill down, meaning you just click on the detail and it will take you down further and further into the inventory until you get to the actual palette information. For this example I'm going to change the display for warehouse first, then species, then variety, take company to the bottom and set the sort. So now my inventory is sorted this way. The first two items on the sort are in the summary pages and I only want to take a look at grapes. Well, we might as well look at apples and I'm going to set a species filter. So now I've limited my inventory to grapes and apples and I've sorted it the way I need it for this demo. What I'd like to do is transfer these six pallets of red globes and then I'm going to ship them to a customer. To do this we must go into order maintenance. I have a uh, some pre-formatted transfers and shipments. You can of course use your own, create a new shipment order and new transfer order. But let's create a transfer. There's a reference. This could be changed to anything you want. One, two, three, four. And this could be X, Y, Z, doesn't really matter. And also, the warehouse is unassigned, so we have to tell it where we want to transfer the fruit to. And of course, we've assigned a session order to us, 1000. I'm going to update the order, and because I've checked the change here, I'm, it'll, it brings up all the warehouses available, and I'm going to update the order. So now we're working on a transfer to the big green building, and our session is 1000. Going back to the inventory, and I'm going to drill down and find the two pallets that I want to transfer. I'm going to take these two red globes, drill down to the pallets, and I'm going to stage them to my order. Again, staging re, uh, reserves the pallets and attaches them to my session order. I'll update the changes. They have been staged. I go back to the prior display, and I'm going to pick these two pallets stage those, update the changes, back to the prior screen. When I return to my order maintenance, there I've, I've attached all these pallets to this order. And the transfer them, simply just click transfer. You do get a printout or a display that you can print or close to record the says, what, you, what you've done. Now when I go back to my inventory maintenance, see the warehouse is a big green building and there's our six pallets. Very simple way to, number one, sort your inventory or display the inventory the way it is most advantageous to the task you are doing. And you can limit what you see in the way of species. Now I'm going to go back to order maintenance and we're going to ship these. Again, I'm going to use a pre-created order. This one is a shipment order. You can change it to a transfer, but right now it's a shipment order. I'm going to change it, and of course I'm going to come up with a customer instead of a cold storage. I'm going to pick Adam's Market here. You can actually have many customers in here, and there is a find box to find them by any uh, name in the name, or you can scroll backwards and forwards. But for right now, we're just going to pick Adam's Market. Now we have our test order, I'm going to update the order, I'm going to go to inventory, I'm going to go to these six pallets. Now it isn't necessary to isolate the pallets that you want to ship to a customer in a separate inventory. These could have been shipped to the customer directly from the other warehouse. But I want to show how the pallet history works after these two transactions. Same option. Stage them to your, and we want to take these, stage them, 
update the changes. I'm going to order maintenance. There. As in the transfer, same thing. Only this time we do have a pick list choice. You can choose to create a pick list. This allows you to uh, print this if you'd like. Give it to a forklift driver, and and which would tell him to load these pallets on this order number. Go into Adams Market and ship the orders. No different than the transfer. And again, we get a little printout. If you choose to print it, a little pop-up window comes up, and you can choose the printer that the printer that's attached to the computer you're working with. I'm not going to print it. I'm going to go to order history. There are our two examples that we've done. There's first the transfer, then the shipment. I'm going to display that. And I'm curious to see what happened to this pallet of 96 here. Now this one is highlighted because we have, we're have we in order 106, which means this is a transaction for order 106. This is the pallet history. It was in the main warehouse. There's no boxes on hand. It was targeted or gone to the big green building. And the boxes were 96. And the, the pallet's closed. Had this just been staged, the pallet might be staged. Uh, the green building. And it's a shipment to Adams Market. So this is the history of our pallet. Prior display. Go back to my inventory. And I can reset everything back the way it was. Clear the species filter. And I hope this has been instructional. Thank you very much.